Hello everybody, Tom Morley here from FOSS 365. This video is going to be about upgrading the firmware of the H4n Pro. It just happened to be a device that I had sitting in a cupboard and haven't used for quite a while. Um, but I want to use it in my studio setup. Um, the Phantom Power that came with the mic, the Niewer mic kit that I got, I really didn't like it. It was limited in functionality. I, there was no gain. It just provided power to the mic. So basically it was overdriving my sound card and I needed some way to connect it. So the um, H4n came to the rescue because you can use the H4n as a USB audio device. And um, that's what this video is all about. It's about updating the firmware so that I can connect it to Linux without a headache and um, how I use it in my studio. So let's get started. I haven't even looked at the firmware in a couple of years. I think the last time I upgraded the firmware, it was in 2017 and it was firmware 1.01, I believe. So um, let's go into the menu here and look at the system and see what version we're at here. Because I think, yeah, we're at system version 1.01. And I went to the H4N Pro website and noticed that they had a new firmware there and the firmware version now is 1.10. So <clears throat> I'm using the H4N now as a USB audio device in Linux. And um, it's a little bit sketchy. Um, sometimes when I connect it to the USB port, it will actually show up in my sound settings, and then other times it won't. Um, so I was kind of hoping that a firmware upgrade may help. So let's go ahead and down this, download this upgrade here. And uh, let's take a look at it and see maybe what, uh, what's going on. It looks like I downloaded it already a couple of times, but um, let's unzip this version here. Just extract. Yeah, you can replace all. I've already done this, but we might as well do it again. And um, if we go into the directory, we're looking for the .bin. So this .bin has to be on the SD card of the Zoom device itself. So what we need to do is we need to connect the USB port of the computer, which is this cable here, to the H4n Pro. And so let's go ahead and connect that. And we'll go back to the menus. And we'll go to USB and we want to connect to it in storage mode. So up at the top you see storage mode. We're going to press the volume button in to get into storage mode. And you'll see as soon as I did that, it's going to bring up the um, location of my SD card, which um, it, it did it on the other monitor. I'll just drag it over here. So. What you need to do, and you can tell that I've already done it, is you need to grab this bin file and just drag it and drop it over here, and I'll, I'll replace it. So that the bin file is in the root directory of your SD card. That's all you have to do is just drag that bin file over. Now that we have it on the device, we want to disconnect. So we'll come over here and go back into the menus. It'll take a second for that to um, register the SD card and go through um, the different files that are on the SD card. The more files that you have on your SD card, of course, the longer this process will take. Um, I actually don't have anything on the SD card, but it is a 16 gigabyte SD card, and that's why it takes a little bit of time. So let's go back in the menu here, and um, let's go to System. Let's go down to System, and the volume button, press it in, in again, and let's go down to Version. And make sure what we're still yep, we're still at version 1.01, .01, right? So what we need to do is we need to boot up in firmware mode. So go ahead and press your power off over here, and it'll power down. We don't need the um, USB cable any any longer, so we can un disconnect that. Make sure that you have um, fresh batteries in the system before you do this firmware update because you don't want it running out of power midway through the update. So now what you want to do is you want to press and hold the play button on the front and then power the unit on with your, your slide power button on, on the side here. So you press, slide it on, 
press it on and press this button and you wait. Again, the boot sequence on the um, H4M Pro is um, not lightning speed for sure. It takes a little while. One of the nice things I like about this Zoom though is that um, I can use it as a USB sound card and the mic ports actually provide phantom power as well. So I can uh, send the 48 volt power to my condenser microphone right through the H4M Pro, so that's pretty cool. So we got the menu up and it's saying system 1.01 .01 is going to be upgraded to 1.10. And that's what I want. So I'm going to use the volume button to get on to OK. And then I'm going to press it in. I'm going to let it do its thing. So it'll go through and it'll check the data. And um, after it's verified that the bin file is actually from uh, Zoom itself, it'll uh, start installing that firmware on my device. And what I'm hoping is that um, this new firmware will give me better connectivity with a Linux box when I plug it in as a sound the sound card with the USB cord. It's been pretty annoying to be honest with you, so I'm kind of hoping that this new firmware update kind of gets rid of all that for me. And when I plug it in, Linux will see it with no problem. It's still writing the data to the device. This may take a while. Okay, now it looks like it's verifying the data that it wrote to the firmware make sure there's no errors we don't want a bricked h4n pro that's for sure okay cool it looks like it's complete so let's um go ahead and power down it says please power off so we're going to power off first okay it powered off now we're going to power back on and just verify that we actually do have firmware version 1.10 on the device. And I usually have my, um, my new microphone connected to the H4N Pro directly, but now that I'm using my Sony um, A6300 camera to film the, um, the device itself, I've got the mic running right into the camera. Okay, so let's go into the menu. Let's go down to system, press the volume button, go down to system, or version I mean, click version, and we are at version 1.10. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I just want to shut it off and see if it's registered on my Linux box when I connect it as a USB device. So we're going to shut that down. Again, one of the cool things about using is using this as a USB device is you don't need the you don't need the battery, so you wouldn't be wearing down your batteries when you're using it connected to your computer. So that's pretty cool. Um, in order to power this from the computer, though, you need to make sure that you plug it in first. Plug in the USB cord first, and it'll automatically detect that you plugged it in to a USB device and turn itself on so it'll be powered by it and again you can either connect using it as a storage device to your SD card or you can connect directly to it so we're going to go down to audio input output here and press the volume button in and um, I always record at 4800k so I'm going to click the button there go down to 4800k um, then I'm going to click connect and of course it's going to connect. Um, how do I verify that it's connected? I'll open up my sound settings here and in the configuration I actually should see the H4N when um, when this stops saying um, please wait. So yep you see how it's it says here in the menu USB audio input and output you can now see that um, I've got the H4 digital recorder here and you want to pick digital stereo duplex okay and click on your input devices and make sure that you see it here and I do see it here turn the mic on there we go I was gonna say the problem is usually you'll see it here in the older firmware you'll see it here but um, you won't actually have any input you won't see the um, meter go up and down here so yeah 
looks like it is working. I'm using these front mics to um, pipe into my computer at the moment. I usually have my um, condenser, condenser microphone connected here. Um, and you can also verify that it's, you can use this as a speaker. So you can click your output devices and move that up and down and you'll hear it. You'll hear this device actually making that sound. So the audio is actually coming from the H4N Pro. So you can use this with um, OBS Studio or um, Adore or, or any sound recorder now that um, you're, you can connect it using the USB cord as a sound device. So I'm pretty excited. I'm glad the firmware worked on the device and it does look like it cleared up some issues for me and I'll be able to use it um, directly connected to um, my computer without all of the um, connectivity issues that I was having with the previous firmware. So that's how you upgrade your firmware on the H4N. And uh, we have it connected to my Ubuntu Studio as a USB audio device with no problems whatsoever. So uh, I'm pretty excited. Hopefully you learned something. We'll catch you in the next one.